Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Gravity Throttle Racing. My name is Aaron Tate. You are looking, as always, at beautiful Chavano River Canyon. Here's my co-host. This is Richard Gear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are ready for event number five, the head-to-head -head competition between Daphne and Ricky Von Bobby. But first, take a look. Take a look at the qualifying and who has made it, who has not. We're excited to bring to you this fifth race. This was the second half of our doubleheader. And we're going to bring to you, first, Daphne. She comes from Switzerland. She is driving in 2016 Honda Civic Type R from Swiss Bank Racing. Just to have a lot of money. And now, from Spain, we want to welcome Ricky Juan Bobby driving a 2008 Lancer Evolution from Sempre Primero Racing. One thing we know, ladies and gentlemen, is that in these head-to-head -head competitions, we don't know who's going to win. We're, there they are, at the top, at the Condor. Getting ready, there they go. Daphne's got the early lead. Oh, but she flips the car over. And it looks like Ricky Juan just about ran off the track, but he's still going. Well, he's sliding around. Now he's making up for lost ground. Taking his time. And he should be. Over Arpino's bridge. He's shaking. Oh, he rolls it around, but he still finishes. Ricky Juan Bobby's going to take the first victory. Yeah, and that was not the cleanest race by any stretch of the imagination. Daphne, that was costly. Making it over the jump first, but as quickly as that happens, she flips the car over. Ricky Juan Bobby seems to be managing the egg beater and does, uh, I don't know what you want to call that, a flip and a twist. He's up, one to zero. Well, let's hope for some cleaner racing here as Ricky Juan Bobby has the inside lane. Okay, now Ricky, well, he has the lead, and it looks like he's uh, stretched out. Daphne seemed to be stuck back there. That's a trip to it. Well, he got caught. Here comes Daphne. Very nicely executed. I think she'll take advantage of that. Again, not the cleanest racer. Very well done through the snake pit. She's always been strong there. And she comes onto the egg beater. Taking her time and pulling it through. She's going to even the score. One to one. It really confuses me how Ricky Juan can be so fast and yet not take the time to drift onto Lewis Hanford. Boy, that cost him. Check out Daphne. Woo! Coming in, avoiding the accident, saying goodbye, and making her way and tying the score. Well, so far, I would have to say this is some pretty ugly racing. But we've got a tie score. There goes Ricky Juan. He seems to have a slight lead. Daphne's right there with him. Nice job by Ricky Juan to avoid a pinch. He's now got the lead around the corkscrew. Oh! Oh my goodness. Well, that didn't wow. last long. That, uh, hope he's okay. The emergency crews are on their way and Daphne seems to be stuck too. At, uh, Steamroller Bridge. Watch carefully. Ricky with his super fast car. Look at that crazy flip as he falls off. Fortunately, the trees were there to catch yeah, him. Yeah, he got bit by the snake pit, that's for sure. So, the cars are back up at the Condor. There goes Ricky. He's got the lead again. He does seem to be the faster car. Nice drifting on Lewis Hanford. He's got the lead. Does a much better job through the snake pit and in and out of Grave Digger's tunnel. Daphne's nowhere in sight right now as he makes his way onto the egg beater, rolls the car backwards through once again. Oh, wait. Oh, here comes Daphne, yep. and she does there manage to she finish. Is. This is some really bizarre racing we're seeing today as Ricky Juan is doing a great job over the Weevil Gap and he is having trouble with the egg beater. Forward or backward, he is through and leads two to one. Ricky Juan, he has the upper hand now. Let's see what Daphne can do in response. Oh, and now it's Ricky Juan's turn to flip the car. Daphne has an easy run. Through the corkscrew. 
Oh, what a <laughs> what a gorgeous slide through the snake pit. Oh, and now she's backwards. That's not good. Yeah, but she manages to turn it around. Daphne has now even the score. Well, somehow, with all the horrible driving we're seeing, this is a very tight competition. Now there is how you maneuver the snake pit, ladies and gentlemen. Well, with all the driving that we have seen and all the lack of skill, I think, it's down to this last race. I would agree. Both drivers. Oh. oh. Whoa. Wow. Now that is quite an accident. I think we've seen uh, some cleanup that's necessary here. Let's hope the drivers are okay. What exactly happened? Or makes for some good camera angles there. Let's see if they can clean it up. Three hours later. Okay, we've cleaned it up. And the drivers again are ready. Who's going to win this competition? It's tight. There we go. We're dead even. But we see a little lead. Nice job by Daphne. She's got the lead. That was some great drifting. Wonderful through the snake pit. She's looking very strong. Well ahead of Ricky Wan. Oh no, she's crashed out. Here comes Ricky, pushing his way through. And guess who's moving on? Ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Juan Bobby from Spain has picked up his third victory. It looked like it was in the bag for Daphne. She lost control on the egg beater. Yeah, in this case, the egg beater really was the game changer for Ricky Juan Bobby. He has new life as he carefully nudges his competition out of the way. He will move on. Here's your winner, ladies and gentlemen, of Heat 5. Ricky Juan Bobby. Are you tracking? <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs>